Hi, Tom here. Welcome to Alley Picked. A few weeks ago I bought this rain barrel from Costco. It's made by Good Ideas Incorporated. And then a few days ago I finally got around to installing it. Now yesterday we had a good rain, so this thing is about three quarters full. I'd like to give you a brief review on the product. After that I'll show you how I installed it. So we installed the rain barrel yesterday and we've got a pretty good rain going on right now. It's been raining for about an hour. And I want to show you a big problem that I found with the rain barrel so far. So if you look at this, you'll see a lot of water is actually not going into the rain barrel. It's spilling over. And it's going along the front. So it's kind of defeating the purpose of what a rain barrel is supposed to do, collect rain. It appears as though the holes are too small and the surface tension is actually blocking water from going down into the rain barrel. Big problem. Number two, I'm getting a lot of this debris coming out of the gutter and some of it is actually going up underneath the screen. That's problem number two. Not good. Alright, so I'm going to simulate a test here. This is the screen off of the rain barrel and my faucet is going to be the water coming out of the gutter. Look how much water is pouring off the front. Not a lot is getting through. I would say more than 50% of the water is spilling off the side. Let's, let's try a little faster. Look at all the water pouring off the side. Pretty bad design if you ask me. The other side's even worse. I'm going to show you how you can replace this screen from your Corsican sold by Costco screen on your 50 gallon water barrel. So we're going to use an old plastic container lid. We have some screen material and a sharp knife. You can see now 100% of the water is going into the screen. There's no spillage and it's got a pretty nice tight seal. So for pennies in uh, about uh, 10 minutes you can come up with a better fix than what uh, you know the manufacturing company provides. Now back to the review. After fixing the screen there's only one other problem I noticed. Even though this thing is sitting flat on cement and it's three quarters filled with water, it has a bit of a shake to it. It really shouldn't be rocking like that in my opinion, but not a big deal. There are some things that I do like about it. It sits 42 inches above the ground 
It's got the two spigots, one on the front and one on the side. I like the nice flat surface on the top. It's got a good sturdy construction. So I look forward to using it now that I've got the screen fixed. And I did contact the manufacturer about it and I'm going to be sending them pictures and video. So hopefully they're going to address this. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to this channel.